Hello fellow leggers, you are joining us once again in London where we are at one of our favourite venues, the Almeida Theatre. And we are seeing a brand new production of the Czech of Classic Three Sisters starring the 2019 Best Actress Olivier Award winner, winner. Patsy Ferron. It literally just happened last weekend so she's riding high at the moment and I for one adore her and can't wait to get back inside and can't wait to tell you all of our thoughts about the piece. So stick around to find out how many stars, and whether it's break a leg or leg it. So literally, th this has just happened last weekend. Mm. How exciting is that? And I've got to say, when we saw Patsy Ferron here at yep. the Almeida Theatre in, in Summer, Summer and Smoke, Smoke, we called it then. We Leg did. Simon said. I said, everyone else go home. Patsy Ferron is going to get Best Actress Because she's going to get nominated year. and she's going to win it. And uh, what happened, Leggers? It happened. She, the production moved into the West End. It got seen by even more people. She got nominated and then won. I mean, I need to be a scout, to be honest with you. I'm and not only that. This. Okay, so she is in this. Yes. And this is also directed this by Rebecca hot. Frecknell. Yes. Who also won Best Revival uh, yes. for Summer and Smoke, yeah. directing this as well. So two awards. I mean, this is hot property right now, and we feel so lucky to be here. Talking about hot off the press, though, did you know Patsy Ferron's about to... She's just signed up to go off to Broadway next year to star in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? On with, Broadway. With Laurie Metcalf, Eddie Izzard, and Russell Tom. Movie. I mean, could she be any any higher on the height of her career? And directed by so. one of your favourite directors? Yeah, Joe Mantello. Bloody love you. So she's if going on to If anybody wants to buy stuff. us a ticket, we'll go quite happily and review so it. So she, she's going on. Yeah, she's, you saw it start, here first. We're here okay, to we're talk here. about... <laughs> Three Sisters. Three Sisters, which these, uh, the original Chekhov play was written in 1901, but this is a new version by Cordelia Lynn, okay. as you mentioned, directed by Rebecca Frecknell, who's the director of the Olivier Award winner. But in the cast... Is Patsy Ferron. We've spoken enough about her. Yep. Lois Chimimba as Natasha, Pearl Chanda as Masha, and the story is a family drama in true Russian style, so centred around the universal themes of conflict, death, money and power, all of those things that rip families apart even to this day. Taylor's oldest time can't go wrong. Is there any other Chekhov you've enjoyed? Um, you know? I'm Chekhov, I'm kind of new to Chekhov if I'm honest. You know the uh, seagull. I know the seagull, I know the I names, know the I know the Orchard. Uncle Vanya yes. was one of yours, but otherwise this is new stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So let's see what this has got to bring. I mean, it might not feel even a little bit Russian outside of the names because it's a new version, but stick around with us. It's two hours and 40 at the moment. We are in previews. halfway through previews at the moment, so that's the hope, plus a 20-minute interval. So we might be awake at the end, who we knows? Should be. But at the interval we'll be letting you know our 30 second breakdown. And stick around to the end to find out how many stars. We've come to the interval which means it is time for the Breaker Leggers 30, 30 second, second interval, interval breakdown. breakdown. Go! Go! What do you think so far? Um, it's a slow burner but some really complex characters. I like the fact that we're not told what's going on. It's all in the relationships and the interplay and how they treat each other. So some intelligent writing on real human nature. How about you? Yeah, same. It is a slow burner, but the production is beautiful. Literally stunning moments. I could take a still of so many of them and it would just be such evocative and beautiful. Great performances. I'm interested to see how the story develops. Well, we've come to the end of Three Sisters here at the Almeida Theatre. And, you know, we keep saying it is one of our most favourite theatres. And when they get it right, they get it so bloody they right. They get it so right here and at the Almeida Theatre. And when they get Theater. it wrong, my God, do they crash and burn. It's kind of like yin and yang. It really it? is. You never it's know what you're it's just get. the opposite sides of the same coin. But, but which coin did we get this evening? Well, I'd you love to know? Yeah, it came up tales unfortunately it, uh, it's just it's well, long is what no, it is no this is comp this is this is actually quite difficult okay because i actually think they got it quite right in production yeah the piece i had a lot of issues with yes so we talk about the piece first Let's we usually talk, talk about the piece about the piece so the piece is incredibly incredibly long and claims sort of comes across as something with a lot to say yet for me it just it passed me by, it didn't say anything specific to me. I was 
bored. I was trying to care about the characters and didn't. I was trying to understand the plight that they were in and just empathise or sympathise with it. And I just couldn't give two. Freaks, uh, see, I really. did. I thought the performances okay. were very good, which we'll come on to. But it's in the, but in the it was, story. It's just so script, sad. It's, it's so. What did bleak, I compare it said. to? Bleak. No, what did they? You said it was like a dementor in that's Harry dementor. Potter, sucking your soul the from you. The whole piece is so melancholy. Yeah. And like, I feel as if, uh, like, what, what was Chekhov trying to do? Was he trying to get, trying to make an audience come in and then want to slit their wrists when they finished and walk away and, and go because home? Because that's the sort and of think, night what I is want the to point pay to go and life? see, isn't it? You know? Because I seriously feel like, what, what is the point of living? Yeah. Like, nothing's going to work out. Yeah. Everything in this and is And you've forgotten half, about the moment you die and, yeah, you know, glass what's half the point empty. The one character that kind of had something positive to say was always about the future. Yeah. And, like, you know, things will be better in the future, but well, not hope, now. And we'll hope never dies be. last, right? And I just found it really miserable. Yeah, it was miserable. And Absolutely. Just as the piece just in the what piece. they're trying to do. Yeah. It's hopeless. And I mean, I don't we started know. off in a hopeless place and things just got worse and worse. And we and didn't worse. even find love in a hopeless place. That's the, that's the sad thing. The love thing. that developed was, was then just taken away. Yeah. The love of the husband for his wife, Masha, was, was just unrequited would, and would, like she threw it back in his face. I would be interested just to... Sorry, did you want to get a word in? Yes, please. But like context and setting like in 1901 Russia is this what they lapped up and if, if so what was it worse than this for them or did they just want to sort of under, did they want to see well, people that so were so bad maybe they wanted that to this see was a good people <laughs> represented like them on stage and maybe life was like that in 1901 Russia I mean I know it hasn't always been a happy place but do you know more about Russia let maybe us know I below. need to know more context because yeah. I just as my first encounter of three sisters mm -hmm. I just thought, gosh. Well, that's this a lie, is... really, isn't it? Because it's not your first encounter with three well, sisters. It's a full encounter of three sisters. Because we left it? halfway through an amateur production of the show, and we because it seemed bleak and miserable and that's boring. That's why I left. We had other things to do. Better things to do, like I don't know, colonoscopy. No, I, I happily stayed and, and seen it, but we had stuff to do, so I'm not going to accept that. But if it was fantastic, I'd have put the other things on the back burner. But the point was, it wasn't. It was worth leaving for. Um, one thing that wasn't worth leaving for in this was the light. My God, was it the star of the show in many ways. The production really hinged off the lighting here. And it was so, gosh, like evocative and dramatic. And I just loved it. Jack Knowles on the lighting. Um, I really like the sound design. I don't think mm -hmm. there was a composer or music, but I think no. the sound design, George they've picked the right Dennis pieces. on sound. Um, yeah. Some good use of music. Also, could you place it? Period wise. No, I kind of danced between the two, between kind of now, but no, kind of when it was, I was originally set. Then was it 1970s because he had an old fashioned camera, but then we talked about planes, people were flying the sky, and that seems like a far off idea. And people then, will be able to so it was turn of the century. Yeah, I just it's... couldn't place it, and it didn't seem to have a clear. And maybe that's the point. Maybe it is because we said those family dramas mm. are applicable at every era. And it kind of makes that statement as yeah. well doesn't it that Which, things aren't going to change yeah even in a thousand years from now there's still going to be that core of disappointment and, and, and chasing and, happiness and, and misery because that's all we seem to get um, um direction i actually thought uh, it's a double-edged sword in terms of direction mm -hmm. i thought some really creative um use of the cast especially in the transitions between the scenes more so in act one I More thought. so in Act One, yeah. it wasn't. There wasn't so many there scenes was, in Act Two. There was choreography in Act One, which was quite dynamic. Yes, yeah, so really nice staging. That. However, in order for us to be fully invested in the characters and this kind of drama, time has to be taken for us to really believe what the characters are going through, and as such. The pace for me is really quite slow. Grinding. Almost grinding. Mm. And I almost think if, if it's sped up too much, then we, we, it becomes disingenuous and I don't buy into the characters. But this was almost so slow that I felt a restlessness mm. and I felt that through the audience as well, yes. as if people were yawning, getting agitated. Oh, well, the, the, guy woke, the guy next to me woke himself up twice by snoring. Um, so, so again, I don't know if that's the piece or yeah. the directorial pace, but I mean, I believed what was being but done on stage. something didn't work for but you. But there was something, something there. Let's, um, also, there, there's a sort of, there was a big scene change in Act 2, yep. which I thought was completely superfluous and didn't add 
anything. I thought, why are they doing it? It felt like it was there for being <laughs> their sake. Yes. Like, because they didn't use it in any way. It was, it was beautifully I, choreographed, it though. It was, but I don't want to give <laughs> too much away. The movement of the actors on the stage yes. was beautifully synchronised. It was. And classy, I, and with great music. It felt like we'd had to just shoehorn something in, because we'd had so much dynamicism in the in the changes in Act 1, in, in, in Act 1, and then in Act uh, in, in It was just, I don't know why it was there. But, yeah, that's just what I think about that. Let's, Let's talk about cast. some performances. Yes. Let's talk about the cast, which were who were you know there's always very fine freaking great actors here at the Almeida and they're all drawn here aren't and the they? cast did not disappoint even though the content of what they were working with for me just felt sad yes what they were doing in those performances were top notch okay let's talk about the elephant in the room here for a moment um if you're coming to see um coming oh. specifically to see olivier award winner patsy ferron don't come to this piece. She is the least used sister. She's probably the least used actress on stage at all. She's probably the person that's there the least. And um, she was. She had much meatier material in Summer and Smoke. Well, she As was Summer, the focus in Summer yeah. and Smoke. She was the lead. As this is a split piece between many performances, many characters. This isn't an Olivier characters. award winning her role she's not been given that material no. to actually she's do anything great with. in it she she's, she's, she's great and it's lovely she's, to see her in something different it as is. well yeah. so you know it's nice she to did hear great. her in original accent she's not putting on an american yeah. accent like i any, believe and everything. she's a very capable actress but you're not getting a full night of pat patsy here. yeah i think i think you what know. we're saying is if that's yeah. what you're coming to see it's not it, you're the not going to get show much of that her. someone from smoke was no it's absolutely not so let's talk about some cast members um pearl chanda in the role of Masha, she is the sort of very melancholy. She's melancholy, eldest, a little bit sarcastic, unhappy very with her bitter, lot, cynical. I would call her. She's very cynical, um, and I thought she embodied that entirely. I, she was the sort of person that I was thinking, God, you know, like if someone brings a friend on a night out that you've not met before, and then she's just really negative and brings the whole mood down. She was that person. Um, I'm going to come back to the writing, actually, but we're talking about performances. Yes. So remind me to come back to the writing, because okay. there's something I've got to say. Fine. But she was, yes, very capable. The three sisters, she was it's great. Mm. I, she was a good actress. She is a great actress. Uh, I, I really her enjoyed her. I'd be happy. To, I'd love to see her in anything else, actually. Um, Irina, um, uh, played by Rhea. I'm going to butcher this. I'm so sorry. Um, Zemitra Wickwitz. Please, okay. let's go with that. So which one was this? She was, this? was the youngest sister. The youngest sister. I thought yeah. she was great. She really grew on me. Mm -hmm. You know, something, again, about the writing. They all go on really big journeys, but really. I would say her... She had such optimism mm -hmm. in the world, what should happen, and then just... To begin with. Yeah, and this kind of real nostalgia, wanting to go her back to Moscow. Her and... for me was the clearest of the three, and yeah. the performance, and I could see a real transition. between Every single time she came on stage, I saw a little bit chipped away from her. A little I... bit of a soft. I could see that. Sucked you know, up. like she was a rock, but then the water was just dripping away, just taking a bit off every single time she was on. And I watched that unfold, and I thought the performance was great. Yeah, she was great. Yeah, I really enjoyed her performance. Great. We've already talked about Patsy. Again, she's very, very good. Um, I also liked the son, the brother. Yeah. The, I really enjoyed the brother's performance. Yeah. Um, there was a real kind Andre, of... Andre, you yeah, liked his name. Uh, awkwardness and melancholy. Freddie and Meredith. Freddie Meredith, I thought, was perfectly cast in yeah. this role. And again, perfectly got to portrayed. show real extremes of emotion, because he starts off in love and optimistic and full of the joys of spring, and then he really screws himself over. Makes a wrong decision. And then he becomes angry and bitter, and, and that was interesting. His backbone. But you know what, we're, sounding, we're making this sound a lot more interesting than it was by saying, oh, these characters, and they have this journey. But when it's put <laughs> together as a whole, I mean, individually, yes, it's sort of, but it's, it's, it's more individual than the sum of its parts if yep. that makes any sense um i also really really enjoyed masha's husband yep. elliot levy playing da, ba, 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 ba. Levy. Um, uh yeah theodore Theodore. Yes. Um, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. We've seen him in other things. We saw him in Mary Stewart. I've yes, seen he's him. He's the light it, relief. He's the only comic, you know, character. I've never in really, this. I've never seen him do comic stuff. Very and naive. He was very natural. So yeah. that really, really impressed me a lot. Yeah. He, he's, he's this sort of like 
again forever the optimist but completely naive like he's unaware of what is going on around him he's almost ignorant and sort of even though he's highly educated he's not very worldly wise and I quite liked that about him but it leads to some almost Mr Bean-esque moments I yeah. thought he, he was great mm -hmm. you know he really stood out for me. I just wanted to touch on the writing yeah, you again. Said back to really the writing. Right. right. I, I think the style of writing is really good. I touched on it a little bit on the um, interval breakdown, but I love how nothing is given in terms of the characters. Like they don't say what they're feeling. It's what they don't. They're always feeling the opposite to what they say. Mm -hmm. So it's not like oh, I'm feeling frightened now. I'm, I'm, I'm worried about. Um, at the end, like I'm worried I'm gonna die. The lines are along the lines of like, look how wonderful the trees are, and look how I've never seen these trees before, and suddenly that interpretation that you're seeing it for the first time is shows his fear. Mm. Am I making sense of any of that? Not really, because you're just making it sound a lot more interesting than it was. But that understanding of a character and the human psyche that we don't say is what we don't say. So are you saying is what are you we say saying now saying you like the writing that it's no, layered or depth or what are you saying? Yeah, I think he's very clever in what he has done. It's what they don't say. It's just really clever. Hmm. And trying to interpret. Because I didn't get that at all. Well, I think like it's I said, there. I think it, it said a there. lot about nothing and too much about that. Well, and it's that's still melancholy I and I still don't get, don't get it. Yeah. But the way that um, Chekhov created his characters and what's going on inside them through what they talk about by not talking about them. It's just really interesting. Okay. If you understand what I'm saying, comment below and try yeah. and make it a bit clearer. Let's wrap it up. Okay. So, for Fine. three sisters here at the Almeida, we are going to give... Two! But I feel like you now we've been a little bit unfair because you're making it sound like maybe I've missed the point here. Like there's the uncovered depth that I'm too ignorant to understand Just because or I've something. uncovered depth, it doesn't mean I, I enjoyed it yeah, anymore. Yeah, and I didn't enjoy it. That's I the thought problem. it was interesting. I thought, maybe, okay, that's clever. Maybe it's but one of those... But Ibsen like, does it better. Yeah, Ibsen does do better. Now, maybe it's one, it's of those, drama. one of those moments where if you like that playwright, then you're going to like this. Like if you like Pinter, you're going to like other Pinter shows. If you think Pinter's a load of rubbish, then you probably think this is a load of rubbish if you don't like Chekhov. If you don't like Chekhov, stay away. I think that's what I would say. Um, you know you don't like it. You're not going to like it more here. Minimalist, strip back performance. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Come and see it and judge for yourself. Judge for yourself. But um, that's, that's, just what, that's just what I think. And that's just what I think. What do you think? That's what matters. It is what matters. But if you want to hear more about what we think in things, then why not hit subscribe and then we'll just pop up every now and then when we've seen some theatre. Hit like just so we know that you're there guys because often it's just us talking to each other and we could do this in the car on the way home. We're the Breaker Leggers. And we'll catch you again soon. Bye. Bye.